What's up comic book fans? It's Asiatic back once again with another comic book haul. These are my books for 3rd of April 2019. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to the people who always watch, always comment like and all that good stuff you guys are super you guys are amazing i really appreciate you guys thank you thank you so much this week i didn't get a lot of books but there are few good ones let's start with the indie books so <laughs> indie if you consider DC a indie but i only actually have two books two indie books so first one is die number five which is a pretty sick book i think the first um, issue is already on the fifth printing and if you guys can get this on a cheap please get it because this is a sick book an amazing story hell child blood money number one this is from cinescope i've been trying to get into cinescope world and see what it's all about that's why i picked it up and see if this is good because the only thing that kind of like Put me off i mean the artwork and there's a lot of sexy superheroes and stuff which is good but the storylines are a bit shallow they need to back it up with a good storyline and um that's why i haven't been getting into cinescope justice league number 20 first full appearance of world forger that's the son of um perpetua let's go to marvel now <laughs> i told you guys i don't have a lot so war of the realms it's a pretty sick big event i've been telling you for the last few weeks there's a lot of different tie-ins so if you don't want to miss the tie-in guys there's some lists in the back of the book that you can um, give to your local comic book shop and tell them that you want to subscribe on this one so Act 1, The World of War. So you got all these tie-ins at the back. You can give that to your local um, comic book shop. And then there's pretty interesting things that will be happening. <clears throat> so in next week or in one week, there devil becomes the god without fear. He's gonna have some cosmic power. Um, Wolverine and Punisher unite to take down the Dark Elves. There's gonna be like a podcast, um, tour number 12 in two weeks will tie in. Um, there's a lot. This is a pretty sick artwork as well. And so the story on this one so far is it's, it's pretty solid, the first issue. So basically the premise is there is 10 realms and every everyone is conquered apart from Midgard which is Earth so the final battle is happening on Earth and Malaket is already bringing all the monsters in all the realms to attack all our superheroes so there's a lot of different um, war going on in different places Thor is battling the frost giant in another realm Loki is been swallowed by his father Lady Freya and um, Spider-Man are battling like the dark forces of Malekith. You can feel that it's really a big, big event and there's gonna be loads of things happening. And um, I only picked up two covers, the wraparound one. This one is amazing. This is the main cover, if you can see. They, this is a big printing guys and um, they, they, I'm sure they print a lot of these and you know, you can still get them everywhere. And this one, look at that one. That's a three-page spread. And imagine if you can get that on a poster. That'd be sick. I like um, She-Hope there. Wolverine with his cowboy hat. Lady Freya is there. Um, look at um, Captain Marvel with the horse. That's amazing. So there's uh, Blade is here as well. Ghost, um, Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Everyone is there. It's a sick, sick event. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what happened on that one. Um, Avengers, No Road Home. Yasmin Putri, main cover. There's only two more issues left. And um, I don't know how they're going to fit everything into issues on what's happening because it's going to end up end soon. Um, Spider-Man City of War. Um, this one came out last week, but my copy just arrived this week. This is a 
there's like loads of different Spider-Man, I believe, on this one, and they're in the different universe. So I haven't read it yet, um, but I'm pretty interested on what's gonna happen on that. Marvel team up um, featuring Spider-Man and Miss Marvel. Uh, back in the days, they've been doing a lot of Marvel team up and it's really successful. Um, I think that's why they're bringing it back. And also with the movie Captain Marvel, I think they're gonna do number two and they want um, Kamala Khan to feature in that one. So if you have her first appearance, that's gonna be a pretty sick book to own. Um, Conan the Barbarian, hashtag Conan is everywhere. Just like I said last week, he's on every title, man. Same as Wolverine, you know. But this one, number five, I've been really, really enjoying this issue. And every time I picked up, every time it comes um, in my pull list, I really can't wait to read it. Um, it's been amazing so far. And I hope they continue producing sick stuff for Conan because Jason Aaron is doing this one. I don't know if it's going to affect him writing because he's doing like loads of different titles at the moment, especially with the big event in um, War of the Realms. I also picked up um, another copy of Cuevo Venom Carnage Born. This one, he's mentioned as the Dark Carnage because there's a book that's coming out next week. There's gonna be a um, mini series called Cult of Venom or Cult of Carnage. Um, that will be a pretty interesting to get because tie into this one shot. Um, also um, picked this up because of War of the Realms. Um, this one I only I got it for cover price, and I just saw Jane Foster on War of the Realms when I was reading it, and then she looks pretty uh, frail because you know she got a cancer uh, as before that she was tall is so different. She looks amazing, and I can't wait for her to be the Thor again. This one is an variant version. It's the 705, which is the death of Jane Foster. So if you guys know, um, notice there's a lot of superhero turning to females, and Thor as well, which is Jane Foster. And I believe at one of this point, they're going to do a film with all the, like, um, female superheroes because Black Widow is already um, having a, a film on her own so there's gonna be pretty interesting if you can get like the first appearance of girl superheroes um, I also have Jane Foster um, first appearance as well um, True Believers this is the Thanos uh, story of the Infinity Stone um, reprint uh, Prisoners at War um, uh, prisoners at war sorry prisoner x age of x-man this is issue number two out of all the age of x-man i'm feeling this one the most the biggest book this week for marvel as well is immortal hope as guardian variant they've been doing a lot of different um as guardian variant um this week and the main cover that's an Alex Ross cover. That's a pretty, pretty sick cover. It's very eerie and scary in the cemetery. Um, and there's a, a appearance here, the first appearance of um, Red Harpy. In the last few videos, I said they're gonna reincarnate um, Red She-Hulk, but it's actually a different character. It's, it's, I'll show you guys what I mean. So... Um, this one is called the Red Harpy, apparently, um, or some people say Pigeon Harpy. So it's a mix of Red She-Hulk and Harpy um, with wings, apparently. That's the first appearance as far as I know. So, you know, this one could be a pretty good book because it's um, there's a first appearance there. It's a, it's a mash between both of them. But regardless, I'm... Immortal Hulk is one of the best titles Marvel has at the moment. It's getting pretty horror and um, gritty. It's I really really like it. And of course, I you know I have to get uh, the Joe Bennett variant. This one is already on Mylar. There's an archive at the back um, archive, and then I put it on a four mil Mylar. Um, 
that's a great 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 book the only thing that pissed me off about this one is they already making a second printing of it um so basically this is a 1 in 25 version but they're making um a second print which is the same artwork just red background that's like you know this is putting the value of the first one in a way because a lot of people think okay they they can just get the second printing you know because it's the same artwork anyway which is you know i think it's wrong especially on the scarce variant i know you can do that on the normal issue but not in the variant man especially one in 25 but this one is going for like a hundred pounds or a hundred eight or 80 to a hundred pounds at the moment already in uk um uh, also another um <clears throat> major talking point get it major talking point major x is major x so apparently um there's a few discussion online because if you guys don't know i'm subscribed on key collectors and um key collectors put out um first appearance of this guy major x is on he said it's on deadpool spider-man deadpool number 47 and so everyone start selling their shit like on ebay putting up high prices on that book and suddenly rob lifefield the creator of um major x is no way that's the first appearance because the first appearance of major x apparently is on deadpool number 10 the variant version the incentive variant so rob lifefield has an incentive variant of deadpool number 10 which features major x on the cover and suddenly, Rob Liefeld block um, key collectors in um, in Twitter. So it's crazy. Next is Deadpool Eleven. This is the cover of the year for me. It's an amazing, amazing cover. I only got this one. It is so nice. It makes me think about the unicorns of um, My Little Pony, and I think that's a funny one. No one. Uh, been talking about that one so far and the last book that i'm talking about is like my deadpool books because i was cleaning up and i saw these books and these are like it came out a few years ago and these are like scars version and um yeah these are just deadpool books that i want to show you and the last one is the playboy version which is um featuring the out outlaw which is on domino's book at the moment so there you go guys these are my books for this week thank you thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one peace